Welcome to new video. Last video we have learned how to create open helper class and how to create queries for tables and how on create method and on upgrade method works with open helper class. This video we will learn how to create select query with different parameters that you may need to use in your app. Simply, select a query is a cursor method that return cursor query. Let's click on control button and click on query to see what that what type of parameters you may add in query. Select the first query. This is the constructor of cursor method. Let's talk in details about these these parameters. The query requires the select boolean value and string tuple name and string array of column names and string selection and string array of selection arguments and string group by and this is the column name and string having string order by and string limit. Disconnect is boolean if you add true in this query it selects the select rows from selected columns in the query table you need to cast the table name columns sometimes we call it projection is a string array of column names to be selected and it is important to detect indexes of column names selection selection is a string of column name where the query selects the row selection arguments is value that upon it query selects the rows from selection columns group by group by is column name that it selected the select values from select column in query having Having is a column name with the value and it filters rows upon the value you added with column name. Order by is a string column name where the query arranges rows ascending or descending upon your selection. Limit is a string number. It limits the number of rows returned by a SQL query. Simply, this query will select all columns from table name, items table, where item date like this date, and completed items like one. Two important notes here. First note is the arrangement of array of selection arguments. It should be the same arrangement of added columns in selection string. The second is boolean columns. Boolean columns should instantiate it by default attributes. So we need to edit the query for creating the table. We need to add not null and default value zero and don't forget to upgrade your database version because you altered table and increase the database version to trigger the on upgrade method to drop the all the table and the create new table with new features and this query also will order the items by date descending and delimits the collected rows by seven rows the query will compiled as select id item name item date i completed 
from due to table where identity equal to 14 March 2020 and completed equal to one order by identity descending limit seven. Thank you. Next video we will learn how to create insert delete update queries. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to get new videos.